Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today is Fun Finds Friday. I am really excited about this. If you're new to my channel, I'm usually thrifting and hauling what I, you know, get and I do like some home decor type things on here, like thrifted home decor type videos, decorate with me. It's been a while since I've done one of those, um, but I do do those and um, just overall like thrifty goodness on my channel. So if that's what you're interested in, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button. You won't be sorry because I love thrifting. Um, today's video is a little bit different. It does have some thrift items in it. it this is more of a, a home decor lifestyle type video. Uh, my thrifty items today, for example, are clothing. So not home decor, but I do have some home decor. Um, they just weren't thrifted. I also, um, in my Fun Finds Fri Friday videos, I show you what I got retail over the last who knows how long. And I spent some money this time, guys. It was over the holiday season. I got some good, good stuff. So I'm going to start with my thrifty items. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm really excited about it. Uh, this first item is something I'm always on the lookout for. I love my Levi's jeans. I found a pair of um, Levi's red tabs. They're 505s. Um, I'm not sure if they're vintage or not. I don't think so. But when I find Levi's, I am really excited about it. <clears throat> and they were um, $8.99. So I was excited to find these. Uh, they are shorts, like um, it says short or cropped, but to me they go just at my ankle. So if I roll them up a little bit, they're even a little more cropped. I may even make the roll a little chunkier and see what that looks like, but they are super cute. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Got a tickle in my throat. My asthma has been up, you guys, lately, so I've been trying to work with that. Um, let me just lay those on the floor. Okay really exciting to find those. I can't decide if I'm going to make the cuffs wider or if I'm just going to trim them off the end. I don't know because I like that cropped look in the summertime. So we'll see. Um, and then I found this Worthington shirt. It's in a size small and it is just a little bit um, snug on me like I can wear it. It's not too small but I would prefer it if it was a little bit bigger, but it would definitely look nice under something else. It was $5.99 and it's just this nice, um, it's very lightweight, so it'd be great for summer or to wear under a blazer in the fall. Um, <clears throat> shell of a type shirt. I really like it. The, the quality is really nice. The back just has a simple seam down the back um, and I really like this. I have been looking for shirts for so long to layer under things like staple pieces um and i'm still working on that and i haven't <laughs> you know um i took a little break from it let's put it that way this one is lauren conrad it was 4.99 and it just looks like this white it has like this detail going down the center of it this one is super cute on, also a great layering piece. All of these pieces that I purchased today I think would be great layering pieces for summer, um, into winter, in, or sorry, into fall, into winter, um, and even in the spring. So they're kind of, even though they're short sleeve, they definitely are great for layering. So I'd be, I'll be able to get lots of use out of all of the pieces. This next piece is probably one of my favorites and it's very simple, but it's kind of cool. It's $5.99. It's a t-shirt, but it's um, by the brand Alfani. I don't know that brand, but it's just a simple nude colored t-shirt, but it has like this really pretty satin type detail at the top. I love it and it has a nice pleat in the back. I thought this would look so cute. I could wear it with leggings or dress it up with a pair of gauchos or something. I don't know. I just thought it would be really cute under a blazer in the spring. I think that would, I, how many times am I going to say the word cute? Okay. This next piece is also one of my favorites. The brand is, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. It's a diva or a diva, A-D-I-V-A. And it was 
$5.99 and it looks like this. This is so pretty. How cute would that be in the fall with a pair of boots and a pair of jeans or in the summer with a pair of white capris? I just think it would look so cute um, all year round, really. I love this thing so much. Uh, it could be dressed up or down, obviously, with all that detail, but oh my goodness, I adore this shirt. It does have a little string here that I'm going to try and figure out what to do with. Um, just that one spot, though, I might just kind of tuck it in and let it be. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm super excited about this one. <clears throat> the next one is going to be my husband's favorite. It's from The Gap. It was $3.99, and it's just this navy blue peasant-style top with the... Um, like little pom-pom detail on the sleeves. It's nice and long. I could wear it. This is definitely tunic length. And it was $3.99. Now this can be, I tried it on and it can definitely be worn on the shoulder or off the shoulder or one shoulder. It is one of those versatile tops. So I cannot wait um, <clears throat> to wear this. And this is probably going to be a more spring summertime shirt because um, it's not really, you know, I could totally layer over it, but I probably won't. Uh, but my husband's gonna like this one. He loves this style shirt on me. <laughs> so I got that one with him in mind. And then these two are super comfy. I think this is going to be a great date night shirt as well. The brand is Apartment 9, so I believe that's Kohl's, and it was $5.99, but it's just a simple black tank top with a little bit of a wider sleeve. It does have this detail right there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But it's really nice um, and it looks really cute on. I have a hard time when I get team tops that fit me, like they droop down here and you can see your bra right there. I don't like that. So, um, and I don't like having to wear tank tops under my tank tops, especially in the summer. Who wants to layer in the summer? So I have a hard time finding tank tops that fit. But that one does, so I was really excited. And then this one is from The Loft. It was $5.99 and it's a knit. It's like shaped like a boxy t-shirt. It has a cuff here. It's v-neck, but it's knit like um, a lightweight, a really lightweight sweater. So I can't wait to wear this. I will wear this all year round. This will look cute so many different ways with so many different, you know, bottoms or um, top or, you know, your jackets or layering pieces. So I was really excited about that. And that is what I have thrifted that was not home decor. You guys have seen all the home decor stuff that I've thrifted on my channel. Now, I, <laughs> I did some damage on Amazon as well. Spent some good money and I found a couple of pieces. This piece I'm really excited about. I was super impressed with the quality of this piece. This is just one of those boxy crew neck um, sweaters, but it's nice and it's heavy and it's well made. It has the inside out seam. So if you don't like inside out seams, it's not for you, but I don't mind it. And it has like the bat wing style shirt and it's like this and it's like boxy but it has the slits on the side that's really um, flattering. So I was excited. There are so many colors. I think there's like probably 30 colors. I didn't count them, but there's probably 30 colors. Um, so I am definitely going to be getting another one of these for spring because I love this. This is such a cozy, cozy top. So cute. And I'm gonna say this was a splurge for me at $43. So, but I don't mind when um, you know, paying those prices if it's a good quality piece, and this one is, so I'm excited about that. And all of the stuff that is here on Amazon, I've already put into my Amazon shop, and I will try to link it down below. Uh, I always have my Amazon, Amazon shop link below, but I'll try to link each individual Amazon piece down below as well. Um, yeah, so I actually created a new board called my style in my Amazon shop. So my pieces will be there. Um, now this next piece, I had a funeral to go to in December, just <laughs> right before Christmas. And I had realized 
too late that my dress jacket, my dress coat, my winter dress coat, I had given to my sister because I outgrew it and I didn't have a replacement for it. So I was wearing just my regular winter coat to the funeral and I felt a little out of place. So I went ahead and I ordered myself a new one, which is good timing because they're all on sale right now, right? And I grabbed this one. I'm gonna take the scarf off because that didn't come with a coat. Sorry, um, that didn't come with a coat. So I have, it's just, I am, I love a good double-breasted peacoat. So double-breasted means it just has the buttons on both sides, right? So I love this thing. It's so nice. It's by Incline. I will, it's already linked down below for you if you're interested in it. And it was originally, I want to say this is like a $200 coat, but the, the tag isn't on here. But I only paid like $70 for it. So, um... I'm excited about that because I needed a dress coat. Now, this scarf did not come with it. This scarf I already had. It was a gift from my mom a couple of years ago, but I thought it would be perfect to wear with my dress coat. So, um, I grabbed that. Amazon, man. Thank goodness for Amazon. Oh, I forgot my dress. Um, I'll put it on the screen here to show you. I also bought a dress for the funeral. It actually was super cute. I was really nervous that it wouldn't fit, that it was gonna be a little tight, but it was perfect. It was super cute. I also got um, some nylons. Actually, my daughter bought nylons. They're kind of funky patterned nylons that they just really zhuzhed up the outfit. It was, I really liked the nylons. It surprised me, uh, but I will have, you know, um, put a link down below for those as well. They are already in my Amazon store. One more item that I bought for clothing. Whoops, you heard some dishes. <laughs> oh, let's see. This is a big haul, you guys. Okay. I'm telling you, I spent some money, but it was a pair of boots. Naturalizer boots. I love that brand because they are so comfortable. Um, but I wanted some knee boots and I grabbed these ones. Aren't they cute? I think they are going to go good with, go really well with my, um, purse. I have a leather bag that I use as a purse and, um, I'm really excited about these. These, um, are real leather and they are super duper comfortable. That's why I like naturalizer so much. And they just have this cute buckle detail I love. And there's the top there. And I just leave the styrofoam in there. They do have the inside zip, which is important for me. I don't like the boots that just have the little zipper right here. What's the point in that? Your pants get all jumbled up in there. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, but I'm a little wheezy, sorry. Uh, I grabbed these. These were spendy, um, but they are worth it to me because I know I will have them for years to come. So. I don't remember how much they were. <laughs> they were spendy for me. They were definitely a splurge. But I only splurge. I splurge in the fall and I get myself a couple of pieces and then I splurge in January. It's my birthday month. Um, so I splurge in January and I get myself a few pieces, you know, some nicer pieces that will last me forever. And that's when I do that. And uh, the rest of the year I thrift my clothing like what I had in the beginning of the haul. I do have two more items from Amazon that I want to share with you. I finally broke down and bought some books. This top book I've had in my wish list for probably, I don't know, I feel like it's been two years. I don't know if it has. <laughs> Let me see. I'll tell you when it came out and then I'll be able to tell you if it has been two years. Nope. Uh, yes. I said the fourth printing, 2018. So yep, it's definitely been two years. It's been three years. Um, so it's called the Cozy Minimalist Home More Style Less Stuff. And look at this chair. It is a denim chair. How cool is that? But I've had this on my wish list for a long time and I figured, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. My birthday was on the first. If um, you didn't know, I'm a New Year's baby which wasn't always a ton of fun, <laughs> but it's, it's sometimes a ton of fun. Uh, 
I guaranteed to get woken up in the middle of the night if I'm sleeping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is by, um, I'm gonna butcher her name, Michaelin Smith, Michaelin Smith maybe? Michaelin, I'm not sure. But she's known as The Nester on Instagram and I think on YouTube and I think she has a blog named The Nester. So I'm glad I got this book. Finally, she has another book. It's pink. What is the name of it? Welcome Home, maybe? Um, I might grab that one as well. And then this one I wanted to buy. I wanted to pre-order it, um, but I did not. And I put it off and put it off and put it off. And I said, you know what? It's my birthday, so I'm going to get it. And this is because this, this woman here is my spirit animal. <laughs> Her name is Marion Parsons. The book is called Feels Like Home, Transforming Your Space from Uninspiring to Unique, Uniquely Yours by Marion Parsons. Now, um, Marion Parsons goes by um, Miss Mustard Seed. I love Miss Mustard Seed. She is just the best. Uh, so I grabbed this book. I am excited to go through it. I am probably going to keep these books out and put them on display with another book that my mother had gotten me last year for Christmas. And it's probably going to go with those as my coffee book, table books, my, you know, thumb through for inspiration books, um, because I love them so much. I cannot, especially, I don't know. I just cannot wait to go through those with a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee and um, you know, read those books, take some notes, get some inspiration, journal out some ideas, because I like to do that, like draw some ideas of how I want things in my home. So one more thing from Amazon, and it's a whistling tea kettle. So Gabe, he's my husband, uh, he, has been drinking a lot more tea lately and also cocoa. My kids have been drinking cocoa. And they have been, instead of putting water in the microwave, they have been running it through the coffee pot. And I clean my coffee pot every single month, uh, the second week of the month. I do my zone cleaning, right? In kitchen, my kitchen is the second week of the month. <clears throat> but just using your coffee pot within a, a few times, the water turns, you know, coffee colored if <laughs> you're, you're running it empty with just coffee in it or with just water in it right so um, our tea kettle broke a long time ago technically it didn't break my husband burnt it to the stove our old stove and I never replaced it he, you know let the water run out and the enamel stuck to the stove um, so I grabbed this one this was actually sent to me so I'm going to open it up for you. It is a whistling tea kettle. I haven't used it before. Um, I'm getting ready to use it right now because it's cold. It is, what was it? It was negative 13 or 14 this morning when I woke up and with the wind chill, it's in the negative 30s. You guys, speaking of which, please say a prayer for all the Midwestern tradespeople out there that are out there working in these sub-zero temperatures. It is freezing um my husband texted me this morning with a picture of just his face and it was 7 30 in the morning and he's already been to work it for two and a half hours and his just face is just completely his beard is just nothing but icicles because you breathe and then it freezes on his beard hair so say a prayer for them it is so bitterly cold and they're outside working in this Anyway, I was sent this Harriet Whistling Tea Kettle, and this is in the color Milk White, which is definitely not white. It is like a mushroomy color, and I think it's beautiful. Um, the handle looks like wood. It is not. It's like a picture of wood on here. It has a nice, ooh, that's kind of actually satisfying. <laughs> um, little snap to it to the handle. And uh, there's the whistler right there. So I'm going to ooh, open up. It has a nice seal. Oh, it has a caution thing in here. What's it say? Before use, please let the first water boil, sit for five to 10 minutes, then pour it out and wash the kettle. Enjoy. Okay, I'll make sure I do that. Um, 
Why, I wonder why they want you to let it sit for five to 10 minutes. That's different. It does have a, um, you know, the plated bottom and it says it's good for ceramic, halogen, electric, induction, and gas stove tops. And then there's a bunch of different, um, I wonder what, what language that is, but it shows you the pictures there. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard for me to see what you could see. And <laughs> there we go. Anyways, so I can't wait to put this to use. Um, my husband was really excited. I have been actually watching for a decent tea kettle at the Goodwill for a really long time and they get scooped up really fast, I think. Um, either that or nobody donates them. Um, I do find like vintage copper ones or something, something I don't feel safe using, but um, I was really excited to get this one a try. I will get it cleaned up and show you, maybe, I don't know, will it be too loud if I show you the whistle? I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I totally lied. There was one more thing I thrifted and I showed it in my um, Christmas home tour video. So there's two things in my Christmas home tour video that I'm gonna show you right now. One of them is an end table. I spent, it was $4.99 I believe, and I'm using it as my coffee table. It's got a really nice farmhouse leg with a drawer, but the top is like that farm formica stuff on top of wood. So I'm going to either, this is probably how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna to try to remove the formica and see what's underneath. If I don't like it, I'm gonna just take the top off and put a new top on. Um, I did look underneath, it's just, um, uh, cra oh, Craig jig pocket hole jigged on and there may be some glue as well so I will probably change out the top eventually it's not like a dire necessity for me to do it right now so I haven't uh, because life has been you know it's been the holidays so I haven't done that but we also got an Ikea upland couch with a chaise so the chaise is actually can go anywhere it can go in the on left side, right side, in the center, it can go anywhere. It's, you know, you can move it wherever you want it, which is really, really cool. Um, so our, I, let's see, we had a vintage flex steel sofa and the, the fabric was breaking down and Odin like tends to dig, uh, when he's trying to get comfy, like, you know, he'll paw and try to get comfy. So he was really working on this one cushion so that ended up having to go to the dump, unfortunately. It wasn't donatable. Um, it probably could have been, no, because the leg was broken too. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so we bought a new couch because my mom and my brother were supposed to come visit for Christmas, but we lost somebody just before Christmas and at the wake, my husband contracted COVID. So we weren't able, you know, my mom and my brother weren't able to come visit us. Everybody's healthy now, um, but it was just kind of a real bummer situation the holiday season was. So we got the couch so my brother would have a place to sleep and then, he, you know, weren't, they weren't able to come. That's a whole lot of talking about a couch. So um, I originally wanted to get the beige color in the couch because um, just I like the lighter tones, but they didn't have that color, so I figured I'd just get the couch and then I'd get the beige slip color cover later. <clears throat> but <laughs> they got that beige slip cover in stock the very next day. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. My luck is crazy. Or the lack of, right? Anyway, we got a new couch. That couch is going to be short lived because. We inherited my father-in-law's brand new flex steel furniture. So we are going to give that couch to my daughter because she is going, she just is getting her an apartment again. Let's, she's moving out. She's 20. She'll be 21 this summer. <laughs> okay. So, wow, that was a long story about a couch. I apologize. Anyway, two days before Christmas, I ran into Aldi and they... I don't even remember what, what what it was for. Oh, because we had to have a change in dinner menu because it was just us. 
and nobody was coming so we we're just we decided to just have some lasagna and for Christmas dinner anyways so I went into Aldi and they had just gotten in their Christmas supplies <laughs> so uh, yeah um, I grabbed two of these they were really cool they were I think they were $3.99 and it's the 25 count LED wire string lights. And I thought, I'm gonna grab those because those are really nice. I like the Aldi brand stuff. Um, <clears throat> and I thought that I could use these year round. They're just string lights, they're copper wired, which is really cool, which I also think would be really cool in the fall. Uh, so I grabbed two. And then they also had the vanilla scented candles. Now it looks to me like I may have gotten the white ones. Or are these the ivory ones? <clears throat> I don't usually get ivory or white, but these ones aren't like stark white. But anyways, I got these. So uh, these I believe were $10. So these will be making a an appearance I think pretty soon. I haven't done, obviously done anything with them yet, but I have an idea of what I want to do with them for my winter decor. Um, I have been slowly working on that, but my I feel like because we're getting new furniture and all that jazz, like everything's kind of in limbo because they can't really, like I don't wanna hang anything on the walls if I have to move everything around. You know what I mean? So. <clears throat> For my birthday, my mom got me a J-Date, J-Date, <laughs> J-Date, I did it again, Jade-ite, Jade-ite paneled pitcher. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is so stunning. It's from Monster Glass. Um, if I, I'll put the link to that down, downstairs, <laughs> down in the pillow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's staying in down in the description box for you guys and um, it, it's just stunning it's not a picture that you're gonna fill up with fluids and you know use on the daily for um, you know drinking but you could it's just very heavy it's solid glass it is just stunning I will insert a picture for you I love it, love it, love it so much. So between my cake plate and my mom's jade, the jade I picture my mom sent me for my birthday, and then the couple of little plates and the D mug that I had thrifted. So between all those things, um, I decided that I was going to pick up some of these. I've seen these before and I was like, you know what, these are so cute and they'll look so cute in my winter decor. They're $3 a piece and I picked up eight of them. I may pick up a couple more. They are the um, Pioneer Woman Jadeite Dip Cups or condiment bowls that you can get at Walmart. And I love them so much. I love the detail on the sides. They're all scallopy and scrolly and beautiful. Love them so, so much. Um, so I did buy eight of these I, and I may pick up four more. So I have a service for 12 but they are on my hutch. I've already decorated with them and I love them so much. They look so good with my uh, Courier Knives dishes and my uh, Heritage Dinnerware to mix this in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am just so in love. And whoo, I did it. I got through everything today. I can't believe it. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed for future Fun Finds Friday videos. And I also do the thrift with me, like I said, and I will probably have my Hutch decor tour up soon as well. So thanks guys. I will check you later. Bye.